Panera in a small village, a store closing after being open for more than a century. Carson's store will open its doors to customers just one last time tomorrow. News 8's Tina Detell reports. You can see from the furniture here right on the front porch that not much has changed here at Carson's store in the last 106 years. But a big change is coming. This closed sign will only say open just one more time. All day long, people have come to visit a place they don't want to see go. I came in because I was sad. It's been a wonderful meeting place. So many stopping by, Christine McGuire says they ran out of food. Yeah, <laughs> I did. It's been busier than ever then. She's worked at Carson's store for years. She knows the regulars and she knows she will miss them. It's been really difficult to say goodbye, yeah. but, well, I don't know. <laughs> Hard to talk about it, huh? Yep. The diner, which was run by the Carson family for most of the last century, continues to be a tribute to earlier times. Its motif maintained by current owner Dave Blacker, who wasn't around to tell us why it is closing. And I think no one needs it. Yeah. It's a wonderful pay, place to gather and mm -hmm. enjoy, and there's a lot of history here. And a lot of tradition. Yo-Yo Carol brought all ten of her grandkids here on their special day. When it's their birthday, we bring them to the porch usually to have a birthday breakfast with Nona and Papa. So it was nice, but we'll miss it. If you think it was busy today, just wait till New Year's Day. They plan on having an open house, sort of a festive way to end this era. In Noank, Tina Detell, News 8.